Janni Singh and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you the perfect smoky eye for an evening out with a smoked out eyeliner as well. I am going to start with an eyeshadow primer. An eyeshadow primer is very important to keep your eye makeup in place. It also does not let your eyeshadow crease and kind of makes it waterproof or rather smudge proof to a certain extent. Um, my favorite brand for eyeshadow primer is NARS. So I just take my product and I apply it all over my lips. Leave me if I said I'm in love. I want you to want me. Would you I am going to use my semi-sweet chocolate bar by Too Faced today. Uh, I just bought it recently and I'm totally in love with it. I am going to take the color Bon Bon and I apply it all over my lid. The next step to this is doing the transition color. The transition color comes into the crease area of the eye hair. So I'm going to take my blending brush by Real Techniques. So now I am going to take this color, peanut butter, and I take some color onto my brush and I just kind of apply it all over my crease. So you can also do your transition color first and do the base eyeshadow later. It totally depends on you how you prefer it. I'm going to take my third color which is called uh, Truffle. I am just going to with the same fluffy brush add a bit of intensity just at the corner. I am going to take my most favorite pencil by MAC. It's called Teddy. It's that perfect brown for Indian skin tones and I totally love, you know, it's like not too blackish brown and not too paler brown as well. So what I do is I draw a fat line. Just make sure that it's thinner in the inner corner and a little more fat on the outside. I gotta just smudge it. All I'm singing is love song, she got me up all night. And now I am using this color called Hot Fudge and I kind of apply it now all over this. I also kind of take a little bit extra and I just apply it in the outer corner of my eye, blending it inwards. black pencil from MAC, it's called Smolder. You just kind of do a thin line. At the outer corner, I just take an angular brush. The one I'm using is by MAC. And I just kind of flick it a little more upwards. So now I'm going to curl my lashes and I am using the Show Amara Lash Curler. Now I see most women do not curl their lashes, they're very scared of this. Trust me ladies, it is one of the easiest and the simplest tools to use. And uh, it kind of, it really really opens up the eye and gives the lashes a very glamorous look and feel. And uh, for small eyes, you know, because it pushes your lashes up, it kind of really opens up the eye. So all you need to do is put the curve of this onto the curve of your lid open it up put it there grab your lashes in between and apply pressure so i always apply like pressure about four five times and that kind of really pushes it up so if you can see my this eye it kind of instantly looks more up and this one kind of looks smaller now i am going to use lancome hypnose my favoriteest mascara ever So there you go, I'm done with both my eyes now and I'm going to complete the look with a highlighter. The highlighter comes on to your brow bone here and you ideally start from 3 fourth of the eyebrow coming out. And I am using the Butter Pecan 
color for the same. So it should be like a gradation of colors, you know, darkest going, lighter, 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 and there you go, you're set. Uh, you can also take the same highlighter and uh, just apply it in the inner corners. This kind of really, really opens up the eye beautifully. To finish the look, I am going to use Browsing by Benefi, and uh, the shade I am using is dark. So all you do is kind of line the lower area and then I kind of start filling in. And in the same thing they have given you a little brown powder to set it in place. I dip it into the color. And now I kind of even apply that little color in the beginning. Now I do not like, ideally if you see everyone's eyebrows are a little lighter and then they get darker. So please remember that the beginning of your eyebrow should always be a tad bit lighter than the rest of the eyebrow. So remember your smoky eyes are not going to stand out if your eyebrows are not well defined. You do not have to keep them very dark but make sure you kind of fill them up. Now you have to remember ladies that when you do smoky eyes if any kind of dark circle is showing your eyes are not going to stand out. I'm going to use my Instantly Ageless by Juness and uh, I have already done a tutorial on this in case you want to see it in one of my previous videos. Now, one thing that I need to tell you is that when you use this product, it kind of gives you a coat on your under eye. That's how it kind of kills your eye bag. So you need to really, really moisturize it well in case, because it kind of gives a dryish feeling to your under eye. And if it has a dry feeling, your concealer won't blend in properly. And now we need to wait for two minutes. So yes, I mean when I used it the last time also, I'm not saying that it completely, you know, totally removes your eye bags, but yes, it does drastically reduce them by almost 50 to 75%. So now that my product on my under eye has settled down, I am going to start with uh, using an orange corrector by MAC. I'm using pure orange. And uh, this is my brush for my under eyes that I use a lot. It is the Sigma E65. I am using the MAC Studio Finish in NW35. You can also see my previous video where I have spoken about how to conceal your dark circles. I've kind of explained it more in detail. And now I am going to use my new favorite brush, the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer F64. Ever since I have discovered this brush, I have stopped using any other tools to conceal my dark circles. And I'm just going to blend this out now. You can also dab with your fingers if you want. And of course, you can always use your beauty blender as well. I am going to take my favorite foundation, the Lancome Ton Idol Ultra 24 Hours. And my shade is 4.5. So now I've powdered my face and now if you see my under eye, they're like just 50%, I mean even lesser than that. I mean for me, this is just magical. If it's like this, I'm just so happy. So there you go. You just have to be very careful that when you're doing your foundation, you should not be touching the wings of your eyeliner. In case you do, just kind of 
take your pencil back on it and kind of smudge it out with an angular brush simple so now because my foundation is done I'm gonna make sure I don't touch my face with my fingers so what I do is I just take my beauty blender to kind of hold my skin and now I am gonna use my uh, shot blender brush by Sigma again so I just take my eyeshadow palette again and I'm going to use the darkest color again. This way it kind of does not smudge and bleed out, you know. Now of course you can fill up your kaju in case you want. That's about it. So we are done with smoky eyes. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was afraid like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was raw like me? Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me? So I have just finished contouring, highlighting and applying blush on my face and I am going to finish the look with a gorgeous red mouth. Now ladies you have to remember that yes you can do a liquid eyeliner or a gel eyeliner. I have just shown a pencil eyeliner option today because I see most women are struggling with their uh, you know getting the line perfect so when you do a pencil eyeliner it's like you know you can just kind of smudge it very easily with your fingertips or with an angular brush so feel free to use a starker medium of eyeliner if you want to so there you go perfect brown smoky eyes with gorgeous red lips for a glamorous evening out